Hi everyone. One of my goals for this channel is to use as many original assets as possible. One of the things I'm working on is creating an original intro song for the channel instead of using royalty free music. I have the software to help me compose a song, but it would be nice to have a keyboard I could attach to my devices that would make compositions easier. Luckily, my nephew had an Akai MPK mini keyboard that he let me borrow, but it did have problems. There were some dead keys which made it difficult to use. So then I decided to fix the keyboard on my own. This reminded me of a time when I was a lot younger and I had an Atari 2600 controller that wouldn't respond in certain directions. Being frustrated and curious, I decided to open it up and see what could have caused this. After opening it, I noticed the contacts that were not working had some dark substance building up on them. So I decided to scrape off what was building up and the controller worked perfectly afterwards. I'm assuming there's a similar issue happening with the keyboard, so I'm gonna do the same. Open up the keyboard, clean the contacts, and see if it fixes the issue. Keep in mind that I'm no expert in this, so don't take what I'm doing here as a definitive guide. If you choose to do what I'm doing here, do it at your own risk. I can't guarantee that this will work for you or it won't damage your device. With that in mind, let's begin. So first, let's see which are the keys that aren't working. I'm still going to clean all the keys, but I want to demonstrate the issue. So already I see three keys with issues. Some keys seem to work, but they don't respond reliably. Okay, so now that we see which ones work and which ones don't, let's open this thing up. There are some screws in the back that I need to unscrew. All the screws are out, so let me open it up. Here, you should be careful with this ribbon cable. There are some black clamps on the side that need to be pushed out so the ribbon cable can come out easily. Now it's off. Be careful not to lose the black clamp. It can come completely off when you remove the ribbon cable. I didn't realize mine came off until I tried to put the keyboard back together. After some looking around, I found it lying on my floor. It did take me a while to find it, but I was really relieved when I did. Now let me unscrew and remove the keys. I'll also remove these rubber buttons. So here's the keyboard PCB. I don't see any visible dirt but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the contacts anyway. The method I'm gonna use to clean them is, one, blowing air to remove any dust particles. Two, using a cotton swab dipped in 90 to 100% isopropyl alcohol and rubbing the contacts with it. Three, drying off the contacts. So let's first blow some air on the PCB with this air blower I have. You can also use compressed air. I'm also going to blow air on the keys and the rubber buttons. Now, let me put some alcohol in a small container. I'll dip a cotton swab in the alcohol. I don't want the swab to be too moist with alcohol. So I'll take a napkin to absorb some of the alcohol so the swab is just damp. Now I rub the contacts with a swab. I'll also dry the contacts with a napkin. And I'll do the same thing with the plastic buttons.
And I'm finished with the cleaning. But to be certain everything is dry, I'm going to leave out the keyboard for an hour. So an hour has passed and everything is dry. Time to put the keyboard back together. I'm not going to completely put it back together. I'm just going to tighten a few screws so I can test the keys before everything is assembled. So here's another test. I'm not happy with how this first key was responding. It's worrying me because it worked fine before. Now this key is definitely not working, but it was also one of the problem keys from before. So I'm just going to open it up and see if I can figure out what's wrong. Well, it turned out that the rubber buttons beneath the keys weren't flush on the PCB. So I just made sure that all were positioned correctly. Hopefully that fixed it. And another test. And they all work. Let me put this thing back together now. Now that it's assembled, I'm doing one last test. They all work and now I can get to some composing. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a like, and if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.